Hello, guys. Uh, can you hear me? Okay. I think I think it is time to start. Uh, so today we will have a tutorial for the uh, coming bonus assignments for. Uh, I think it will be released uh, recently. Uh, so so this this tutorial is a uh, uh, is a simple introduction for this assignment. Uh, so. So for this uh, bonus, uh, our main task uh, is to um, uh, trans translate, is, is to implement a, a kind of the paging unit to translate the linear address to the physical address. So, so we need to implement a simple simulator uh, of translating pro processes uh, linear address to physical address. So it is the virtual address with the paging technique. Um, so first we have the overview for the user space and kernel space in this assignment. So you can find uh, in the user space, uh, we have several process here. So the user should use the create function uh, to process with uh, uh, specified uh, virtual memory size to the uh, create API. Uh, so in the figure, it does the pro, pro create uh, VM. And then the user can uh, read or write the process virtual memory through this, through this read write API. Uh, so it should be the VM read and the VM write. Uh, and then the user can uh, terminate process through the terminus API. So we have the pro uh, exit VM. Uh, so these are three uh, APIs used in the user space uh, to uh, uh, to create the uh, memory, uh, create the uh, virtual memory for the uh, process and rewrite it and uh, uh, terminate the process. So uh, in the kernel space, you can find for each process, we have this pitch table and we have the we we have the set record the, the the memory size for the process. So the kernel simulator will maintain a pitch table for each process and the shared physical memory, and the shared physical memory. And then the kernel simulator handles the mappings from the process virtual memory to physical memory. <coughs> uh, and in this figure, you can find we have the uh, red one and green one. So here. Uh, the green color means uh, the memory is not being occupied, the page is not being occupied. So the red one means uh, these pages are occupied by some process. Uh, and this is a, a basic overview for the whole structure. Then with this, um, uh, in this bonus, we will provide a program architecture uh, for you and you can utilize this architecture. So first we design the kernel space, the, the kernel simulator you can find here in this figure. So for this kernel, you can find we have, the, we have uh, mainly uh, five uh, fields. Uh, the first one is the space. So it will be, it will be utilized to uh, simulate the uh, physical memory. And then we have a, a uh, integer uh, allocated pages. So it uh, means the total number of allocated pages for all running processes. And then we have um, uh, occupied pages. So this, it is a, a, a char array. So it means uh, uh, it will be used to indicate whether the the page is free or occupied, uh, and the size is the number of the kernel pages. So how many pages we have? Uh, we have uh, the size of this of this array is the number of the pages. 
And here, zero means the page is free, and one means the page is occupied. Uh, and then uh, the running means um, it, it is an array mark, marking if the corresponding process is running. Uh, and here, uh, at last, we have this MM. It is a uh, uh, MM struct, uh, structure uh, array. So it is an array of the page tables, uh, an array of the MM struct. Uh, so now uh, we will go to the detail for this MM struct. So from from this from this figure, you can find uh, except the MM struct will have the page table a structure and the page table entry structure. So for its page table entry, we have the uh, page frame number and the present. Uh, and it is the it and the array of the PTE uh, 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 is the contents of the page table, and the page table or list is the contents of the M structure. Uh, so here the M struct uh, means uh, first uh, in this structure we have this size. So the size means the memory size. Uh, you. So it determines the number of located pages for one process. And here we have the page table. So it contains an array of the uh, page table entries. And this figure is an example. You can find um, if for the uh, kernel space, the page size is uh, 30, uh, 32, and the kernel space size is uh, 512. So uh, it means we have 160. It means we have 200 uh, more uh, pages can be used. And uh, if one process, uh, the, needed, the needed size, uh, memory size is 64, it needs to occupy two uh, pages. So you can find in the page table, we have zero and three as the pages for this process. And similar for the second one, the needed size is uh, 96 uh, bytes. Uh, so we need three pages. Uh, and we have five, seven, eight for this uh, page for this process, and similar for the last one. Uh, then uh, now we have known the the base structure. Uh, now we will uh, talk about the implementation of these four uh, functions uh, in the uh, kernel C. You need to uh, implement. So the first one is the create uh, API. So, so at the very first, we, uh, you need to check uh, if a free process slot exists, uh, which means we, we need to check the, uh, the running array in the kernel uh, and to check whether this corresponding process exists. Uh, and the slot in the running will be the PID returned. And the second step is to is to check uh, whether there is enough enough free space for this uh, process. Uh, so we will check the allocated pages and uh, to check if we have enough pages, uh, enough free pages. And the third step uh, is to allocate the space for the uh, for the process uh, page table. Uh, and because we have uh, provide the, the size need. So the size of, of, of the page table depends on the pages you need. So if this size equals to 30, 33 and the page size is 32, then uh, we need two pages. Uh, and after allocating the pages, we need to, allo we need to update the uh, allocated pages array. And then uh, uh, until, the, uh, until this time, the mapping to the kernel managed memory is not built up. Uh, so all the PFN should be set to uh, minus one uh, and uh, present type, uh, present bytes to zero and set the corresponding element in running to one. So the last, the, the running will indicate that the memory is uh, uh, existing. And for the previous two, it means uh, we haven't uh, mapped this um, 
these pages to the kernel space memory. And then at this moment, we only create, we only uh, allocate the space for the table. And then we return uh, the PID of success. So at this moment, we have created this uh, process. And in kernel space, we already have the pitch table for this for this process. Uh, and then uh, for the read and write uh, function, uh, we'll utilize them to uh, for, to read and write the, the content. But first, we need to uh, build up the mapping. So if we have this uh, read function, uh, we need to uh, indicate the the process ID, the address we need to read, and the site we need to read. And then we have this buffer <coughs> to get the output. So first we need to check whether the, read, the reading range is out of bounds. Um, and then, we, and then uh, if the pages uh, in the range uh, address to the address plus size of the user space of that process are not present, which means we haven't built up the mapping. So we need first uh, to map them to the free kernel managed memory pages. So we will scan from the beginning whether uh, if there is a, a free page, uh, we can map them. So in this, in this case, uh, when we read or write uh, in this process, we, need, we, can map, we can build up the mapping. Then we can really uh, access the, uh, the memory in the uh, kernel space. And similar for the write, then another uh, function is the exist, uh, exist, which means we, we try to uh, uh, exist one process. So first, we need to reset the corresponding page in the occupied pages to zero, which means uh, the corresponding uh, pages for this process will be set to free. And then we release the page table in the uh, MN structure and set them to now. So in this way, uh, the page table is released and we return zero when success. So at this moment, we have, uh, we can uh, uh, secure, uh, we can uh, safely uh, exit one process. And also uh, in the process, uh, in the uh, uh, program, we provide a, a demo. So you can find this in the demo thing. Uh, so the demo will uh, utilize, um, the demo has already uh, uh, have some steps to, to test the, the functions you implement. And after your, your implementation, you can utilize this demo to, to do some tests. Uh, so in this demo, first we have uh, some initialize uh, initialization for the parameters. So you can find here for the kernel space size uh, and the virtual space size, also the page size uh, and the max process number we have defined. Uh, and first step in this demo is to create two process zero and one. <coughs> uh, and after the creation, uh, there will be some output in the uh, term terminal you can find uh, before reading the pages uh, 0 to 7 of the process 1. Uh, we have some, uh, we can know the, the first space of the total uh, of the whole kernel is from 0 to uh, 88,192, which means uh, we haven't uh, uh, mapped any uh, pages for this process. And you can find here for the uh, process uh, zero, we, the size is the virtual space size. And for the process one, the size is only half of the virtual space size, uh, which means we can only have uh, eight, eight pages for process one, but uh, 16 pages for process zero. And for process one, uh, no, page, no virtual page is present. Uh, and then we try to read the uh, the page zero to seven of process one. 
So you can find uh, we create we allocate some uh, base uh, for the for the buffer, and we have this VM read uh, function. So we we try to read the uh, the page zero to seven. So after the read, you can find <coughs> uh, the free space will begin from the from two uh, hundred seventy six uh, fifty six. Which means we have uh, allocated the uh, we have allocated x uh, eight pay physical pages for process one, and you can find the memory mappings of this process. So for each virtual page, we have the corresponding physical page for this for it. And after that, we create another process, process two. The size is only a uh, uh, quarter of the uh, virtual space size uh, and you can find uh, before the uh, rather read for the pro for new process uh, no uh, no water space is present and then we read and write write and read the page one of the process too so we only read one uh, one page so after the uh, operation you can find the, the first space is start from uh, 288 and the water, water page one of the process two has the mapping to the uh, physical page eight, <coughs> which means we only add a new, a new, we only have a new physical page to be allocated. And then we create process three and write page zero to three of process three. Then you can find uh, the address start from uh, 416, which means we have a, we have map uh, four new pages, uh, four new pages. <laughs> then uh, we use, we test the exist function. First, we exist a uh, process two. So for, for the process two, you can find uh, we have the uh, we only allocate one, we only map one physical page, uh, and the page, and the page uh, is from, uh, it starts from the address uh, two hundred fifty six. So the free space after the process two exists should be two parts. So the first part is in the beginning from the uh, address of uh, three hundred fifty six. And the size is one page, and after that we have the uh, other uh, free space here, and then we exist to process three, and after that, uh, of of the uh, both of the two or uh, two parts of the free space can be connected, and then we uh, exist process one, so the address should be begin from zero. Another process zero because we haven't uh, modified, so no page is uh, map is mapped, so the first space will not be changed. And after that, um, we have this score for you. So, so for the operation, every step we have the score to indicate whether you, your implementation is correct. So the total score is uh, nineteen, and you can check it uh, with your implementation. And for submission of these boundaries, uh, please only submit the kernel C to Blackboard and uh, we will check it. So that's all for this tutorial of boundaries assignment four. Uh, any questions? If not, I think that's all for this tutorial. Uh, so this this final assignment four will be released uh, recently. Uh, and I think the, the whole procedure is very clear. So you can implement it uh, just uh, based on these in instructions. Yes, you just follow the steps uh, in the slides, for example, this uh, for the implementation parts to imp to build your function, yeah, this one, two, three, four. This this four functions you need to implement. Yes.
，OK。So any other questions?